Hi again, it's Pastor Cindy here with another story time. It's a short little book today, but it's one that I dearly love because it's a question I often ask myself. How does God make things happen? Now this is a little story. See, it's like for children, babies, so they can use their hands. And it's a story by Lawrence and Karen Kushner, illustrated by Don W. Majowski. But listen for what the, the what God has to say to you through this little story today. How does God make things happen? Your family helps God make things happen. Sisters take turns on the slide. Brothers share a new game. Watch how everyone comes together to help with dinner. How does God make things happen? Your school helps God make, thing, make things happen. A boy helps when another can't reach. A girl shares her snack. Watch how sh someone shows the swings to a new friend. How does God make things happen? Your town helps God make things happen. A family gives money for people who need it. A neighborhood gathers books for children in the hospital. Watch how everyone helps a family with a new baby. How does God make things happen? You help God make things happen. Can you visit someone who feels lonely? Or pick up trash on the playground? Can you give a toy to someone who has none? How does God make things happen? With little hands and big hands, with young hands and old hands, with your hands. That is how God makes things happen. We know from the Bible that Jesus came to be our model. And now we have the joy of being able to be God's hands and feet and mouth in the world. We are able to do God things, do good things through God. Now, I hope that you can find a way to help God make something happen today.